Okay, so today we're making million dollar brownies. For this recipe, you're going to need some caramels. So this is about a pound, um, about 60 caramels. So I just use these bags like this, and I use about a bag and a half. So those are all unwrapped and ready to go. You're also going to need a cake mix, German chocolate cake mix is the kind that I like, and then some evaporated milk, uh, half a cup of butter, a cup of chocolate chips, and a cup of walnuts chopped if you like nuts. If you don't, you can omit those. So to start with, we're going to set the caramel aside for a minute, and we'll just start with our brownie base. We'll add in the bag of the cake mix. Next we'll add a third of a cup of evaporated milk and a half a cup of butter. Then we'll just stir that to combined. This is going to make a really thick batter. So we'll take half of this mixture and place it in a pan. I like to use this pan that is 8 by 11 and a half, and I think that it just works really good um, size-wise. It's not the most common size, so you could um, use something slightly smaller, something slightly larger. Um, a 9 by 13 is fine. It's just harder to spread it into a thin layer when you have a bigger thing. So I'm going to grab another spoon that's easier to use and spread this a little more smoothly. So we're just going to try to get it into the corners. A trick you can use, which I did not do, is to spray a little cooking spray on the back of the spoon so the batter doesn't stick to it. You do want to make sure that your pan is uh, greased before putting this in. So at this point, we're just going to stick this in the oven for about eight or nine minutes at 350. Okay, so while that is mixing, we're going to get our caramels melted. And you'll notice I forgot to add the walnuts. Um, you would add that in with the batter if you were going to add nuts, and I completely forgot, but that's when you would do it. So you're going to add another third of a cup into this caramels. So we'll just pour it right on top. So we'll just pop this into the microwave uh, a minute at a time and I'll stir every minute until it's melted. Okay, so this is the first minute and they're not really melting very much and that's okay, but just kind of flip them around a little bit um, just so that they don't all get hot spots and melt in certain spots and not in others, and we'll just do another minute. So you can see they're starting to melt, so we'll just stir this to incorporate that evaporated milk. And it kind of looks like it's not going to come together, but it will. You could maybe do another 30 seconds, but I think this is going to work. Okay, so I'm just going to, it's coming together, but there's still some chunky parts. So I'm just going to do another 30 seconds or so and just get that completely melted. Okay, let's see how this looks now. Yeah, there's still some... You hear my puppy in the background? There's still some chunks here. I think as we just stir and let the heat um, disperse, 
they'll smooth out. Okay, so we've got our caramel and it looks nice and smooth now. There's a few bigger chunks, but mostly it's smooth. So we'll go ahead and grab our brownies. These just came out of the oven. So this is what it looks like about after eight minutes is how long I did it. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our chocolate chips and we're just gonna sprinkle them over the top. Just kind of evenly throughout. And those will start to melt a little bit and we're going to add the caramel over the top too. And we're just gonna drizzle it out. Try to get it over evenly. just kind of smooth it out a little bit. We don't want to mix it too much with the chocolate, but just so that there's a little bit of caramel over all of the brownie. Okay, so that looks good. And now it's time to add this to the top. Now you're going to take your batter and it's a little bit tricky but you want to get this on top so what I like to do is just spray my hands with a little bit of grease and then I'll just grab a little bit and just flatten it down and lay it on top of the brownie so it's a little tricky you couldn't you can't just spread it on or else it will just make a big mess of the caramel so I just take pieces and flatten them out and it's okay if you have a little bit of cracks here and there with the caramel showing through. It just makes them prettier in the end. So just kind of flatten them out and work your way around. So I'm just kind of getting some big areas covered and I'll go back in and fill a little bit in some of these spots. And it's okay if the brownie pieces overlap a little bit. It just gives it kind of a fun texture to the top of the brownie. Okay, so now we'll just pop this back in the oven for 15 minutes. So here's the brownies now that they're all baked and you're gonna wanna make, let them cool um, completely before cutting and serving. 